Hello, I am Chandler Malm, and I am the baddest dude when it comes to this math stuff. But why don't you go ahead and pause the video right here so you can take care of this classwork quiz number 65. And when you guys work on them, uh, we'll go through these, each of these and, and review for your test. Okay, so pause it right here. All right. Okay, so now that you, you've taken care of it, let's go through this step by step. As a class, you've already taken care of this. So let's go ahead and graph um, the first one. We're going to go up to, uh, or down to that minus 7 right there. So that's what this is right here. And then we're going to use the slope. There's no number in front of x, so it's understood to be 1, which is 1 over 1. So from here, I'm going to go up 1 to the right 1 and put another point right there. All right, so up one to the right one there it is now I'm going to connect them up with a line okay now let's do the next one the next one I'm going to do zeros when I get x equals zero four goes into negative eight negative two times and when y equals zero you just left with x equals negative eight so when I graph uh, zero negative two that's going to be down here and negative eight zero is going to be over here I'm going to have to extend that axis right there so there it is right there, and it looks like they're intersecting right there. It looks like to me about over 4, down 3. In fact, that's the correct answer, 4, negative 3. Okay, this one solved by substitution. Going to substitute uh, this quantity in for the y in the second equation. So here we go, let's go. So distribute that 2 through, so you get uh, negative 4x plus 8. Be careful. Don't make your Algebra 1 mistake and do negative uh, x minus 4x. It's uh, negative 5x, you guys. And then you're going to subtract 8, and 3 minus 8 is negative 5. So negative 5x equals negative 5, x equals negative 1. Plug in x back up there. And then so y equals negative 2 times 1 plus 4, which is 2. So your ordered pair is 1 comma 2. Okay, this one's solved by elimination. I multiply that. You can make these guys both tens or make these guys both sixes. And sixes are easier to work with, especially since that's already negative and this one's positive. So all I had to do was multiply this equation times 2. That way I get a negative 6y. This equation times 3. That way it gets a positive 6y. But you had to put the 2 all the way through. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times negative 3y is negative 6y. And then 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Similarly, distribute the 3 through. Now you're ready to add these equations together. All right, so you get um, uh, 19x equals 38. So 19 goes into 38 two times. And I plugged in 2 into the bottom equation. 5 times 2 is 10, so subtract 10. 2y equals 6, so y equals 3. x always comes first. All right, okay, graph this inequality. Okay, so we're, this is going to be a line, and we're going to be shading. This is a dotted line because uh, there's no equals bar right there. So let's go do the plus 3 first. Okay, there's the plus 3. Then I'm going to use this slope, negative 2, which is negative 2 over 1, down 2 to the right 1. It's a dotted line. There it is. And then uh, I'm going to test 0, 0 in uh, that inequality. So is 0 my, uh, less than negative 2 times 0 plus 3? Is 0 less than 0 plus 3? You bet it is. So since 0, 0 is on the left side of this line, then I'm going to shade the whole left side of the line. If this would have been a no right here, then I wouldn't have shaded this side. I would have just shaded this side. So if it's yes, you shade the side the point is on. If it's no, you shade the other side. So I'm going to shade that side. Boy, isn't that pretty? Heck yeah. Looks like a Christmas tree ornament to me. That would be a beauty right there. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, graph the system right here. Okay, we're going to graph each line. I already started the minus 2 part, so there's that one. Then I'm going to use this slope, up 3 to the right 1. Okay, so up 3 to the right 1. And then this one's a solid line. And then we're going to go ahead and test 0, 0 in this inequality. So is 0 less than 3 times 0 minus 2? Is 0 less than or equal to negative 2? That's a big fat no. So I'm not going to shade the side 0, 0 is on. I'm going to shade this side. Now I'm not going to shade it yet because I still have to graph this one, but I'm going to put a little arrow as a reminder that I want to shade that side right there. I still want to graph this line and see which side I'm going to shade on this one. And this is going to be a dotted line. So let's go do the plus 4 real quick. Okay, so plus 4. All right, and then I'm going to do uh, this. If there's no number in front of x, it's understood to be a 1, which is 1 over 1. So from here, I'm going to go up 1 to the right 1 and put another point. It's a dotted line. 
All right, I had to extend this red guy a little bit because I don't know now where is it going to be. Is it going to be in this side, this side, this side, or this side? Well, I already know it's going to be to the right side of, of this line right here. Okay, so it's either going to be in this big old piece right here or in this little piece right here. i got to test 0, 0 in this guy right here. So let's test 0, 0. All right, so uh, is, is 0 less than 0 plus 4? No, 0 is not less than uh, that right there. Okay, so that means I'm going to shade, uh, and I don't have the rest of this on here, I'm going to shade this side of this line because it's a no on that one also so I'm not going to shade inside of here I'm going to shade over here all right so it's going to be well maybe I do I think I do it's going to be a no I remember I did do this okay so it's going to be on that side so some it's going to be on the on the top or the left of the purple line it's going to be on the right of the of the red line okay so it's going to be up in this little place right here that little piece of pie right there